Hey guys, welcome back and hello to you new people. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Tarte Swamp Queen palette. This is a collaboration palette from Bunny Graveyard Girl on YouTube. Bunny is someone that I had the pleasure of meeting at IMATS LA in 2013. I had no idea who she was. I was just, um, I was working at the BFT Cosmetics booth and I happened to look out and see this girl with amazing hair. Her hair was like black and blonde and it was really cutely styled at the time. So I was like, I have to take a picture of her hair because I was taking pictures of like everybody's hair who was cool. And so I went up to her and said, hey, can I take a picture of your hair? And she's like, yeah. And she's like, are you Courtney? I'm like, yeah. So apparently my friend Sue had sent her over to say hi to me and she was the sweetest person. Her eyes are really that blue. Like she doesn't, you know, those are her, that's her real eye color. She doesn't like oversaturate her videos. Her eyes are just this beautiful bright blue. She's really nice. And you know, she just chatted with me for a little bit. I had no idea who she was. I didn't know she was a big person on YouTube or anything like that but she was just so kind and genuine. Basically, everybody I met at IMATS that year was really awesome because I also met Cora from Vintage or Tacky. I met Heather um, Sokolum79. I met uh, Angie Starling. So anyway, um, because I met Bonnie and I really liked her, when her palette launched, I bought it immediately. I also bought the Sweet Tea lip product, which was like the pale neutral lip color, which I think is really an awesome color on pale skin like mine. So I really like the collaboration that she put out with Tarte and I wanted to talk about the palette. The reason I didn't do a video on the palette before was because the palette sold out and so I was like, well, I don't want to make a video about something you guys can't have. But apparently the palette's going to be coming back so I was like, okay, if I'm going to make a video about the palette, now is the time. You may or may not remember, but I took this palette with me on my trip to Michigan for my brother's wedding. I wore it a couple times. I've worn it since then and recently I've done a couple looks and tutorials with it. When you look at the palette, it's got this like faux wood grain thing going on. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Urban Decay Sustainable Shadow Box. It's very sturdy. I've traveled with it with no problems. Inside it has a really cute, it has a mirror and it says in the mirror, believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your individuality. I personally love that message. I, I love the whole be your own kind of beautiful, you know, be your own unique beauty. Don't feel like you have to look like the people that you see on social media or in magazines. And you know, and you, you can't look like that. I mean, <laughs> too many Photoshop filters. You, you cannot be like that. So it's much better to be comfortable in your own skin and embrace who you are and love yourself. So I love that message. I think it's awesome. We have S for S, which is like a light rose gold. We have natural peaches, which is a light peachy nude. It acts as a transitional color for me. We have Dogman, which is that burnt orange color that is so popular everywhere. And it basically acts like a matte on the lid too, because even though it has gold glitter in it, that gold glitter just seems to fall out. It doesn't ever seem to translate to my lid. Then we have Big Baby, which is like this light yellow beige color. It's a good matte. We have Sassy Bun, so sassy. I love Sassy Bun. It's like this golden copper color. It's really pretty on the lid. Then we have Sippy Sippy. And this is a deep brown with tons and tons of glitter. It's got like gold, golden green, and copper glitter going on. Then we have the bottom row, which are the purples. These, in my opinion, are the perfect purples for people who are scared of purple because they're mostly brown with like a hint of purple. So we have Haunting, which is like this light brown with like a hint of lavender. And then we have Uncommon, which is just like a deeper version of Haunting. And on me, I feel like the colors look nearly identical. There's not, a, there's not very much variation between the two. And then we have Man Cat, which is like this deep uh, brown with plum tones. The eyeshadows look like they're really well thought out. They work really well together. Um, because I have hooded eyes, I have to supplement this palette with mattes. So I've been using the Tarte Tardis Pro palette. This one right here. Before I had that palette, I would use the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette because that's what I took with me on my trip. All right, let's talk about these cheek products. We have Sweet Tea, which is like this warm orangey brown bronzer. This just looks straight up orange on me. It's not very flattering. Uh, I can use this as like a transitional crease color. Um, I haven't, it has gold, in, gold glitter in it, which just seems kind of weird. There's too much gold in that color for me. Then we have, does this thing really work? And this is my favorite thing in the whole palette because it's this beautiful pinky plum color that just looks great on my skin tone. It has like a golden shift to it. It's just, it's gorgeous. If I, you know, this is like one of those, if I had to choose just one blush color, I could wear this color and be happy because it's such a pretty color. Then we have Gator Wings. And this color um, is, it's a, like a metallic yellow gold glitter bomb highlighter. It does not work on me. It's too dark for my skin tone. and. I don't even really feel comfortable using it as an eyeshadow because it has like such chunky glitter in it. So not my favorite. This palette is made in the USA. 
And for the eyeshadows, you're getting 0 0.035 ounces of product per shadow. And for the face products, you're getting 0 0.11 ounces of product. So you're getting a fair amount of product. And let me tell you what I don't like about this palette. I don't like that the, the formula is so powdery. It like kicks up a lot of powder every time I run my brush across it. If it's just not for me, I that drives me a little crazy. I don't like the fact that so many of these shades have glitter in it, but the glitter doesn't seem to stay with the eyeshadow. It just seems to file out on my face. That is not fun. I really don't like how the, the colors that look purple aren't really purple. They're more browns, like a hint of purple. That's just a personal preference. I would rather them be slightly like slightly more like a real purple and I wish these two colors had more uh, variance between them because they look so similar on my skin I wish this one was like a little lighter this was a little you know darker or something I don't know but they just don't work very well for me so let me tell you what I do like about this palette I do feel like it's a good value for the price I do feel like the colors are very well thought out they work really well together I love the vanilla smell when I first got it I thought it smelled like chocolate but it's actually vanilla so it's a very like sweet candy smell but it's not overpowering it's not stinky peach it's just a really nice smell so I, I like it I find it comforting it's a win for me I really really love the blush I like the color natural Peach, peaches because it's a great easy to work with transitional color I've had fun playing with dog band which I didn't expect to because I'm not really an orange eyeshadow person though I keep trying more oranges because people keep telling me they look flattering with my eye color I love that the packaging is very sturdy it's very easy to travel with when I traveled with it to Michigan I had no problems nothing broke I know when I first saw this palette and the colors that were in it I was a little disappointed that there wasn't a green now look hang on let me let me explain like for some reason I thought that there should be like this metallic golden olive green khaki color so like barely a green just like a hint of green because it would have been perfect because it made me think of a swamp family but there's not and I think the colors that are here actually work really well so it does okay without a green I was just like oh I kind of wish there was a green so anyway I feel like this palette does have a lot of pros even though it does have some cons who I think it's best for is if you're somebody who likes warm neutrals, you're afraid of purple, but you want to start dipping your toes into purple, this is the palette for you because these are this is a great way to start getting used to wearing purple without it being too overpowering. If you're okay, you know, with bronzer and super glittery highlighter, you might like those. I think you'll love the blush because I love the blush. I think the blush is awesome. And overall, these colors are really nice, easy to work with, aside from the glitter fallout. So put your eyeshadow on first, clean up the fallout, then do the rest of your makeup. Anyway, what do you think of the Tarte Swamp Queen palette? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos, it makes my day. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.